right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Under two minutes. Whoa! Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Nice body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Second round underway. Good punch lands. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight and it shows. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Third round underway. Oh, he 
Boyd landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he comes through with a big knee. And what a round! A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Punch over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just unable to quite find that range. <sighs> oh, and that kick is blocked. He lands a switch knee. <laughs> Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. <laughs> punch is blocked. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, straight right. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. It is the fifth and final round. That he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh 
Way to hide that leg kick. Good stick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. <laughs> 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. He's having his way with him here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, nice right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wow! What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. 